And I don't really remember the back half of the game as well as I remember the front half, so get a look. Um, what do we do? We followed the tunnel out of Moo, and we've made it to the seaside tunnel. As always, appreciate you guys watching along. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I feel like there's a lot of reading coming up, and I'm still fighting uh, a bit of a cold here, so... <laughs> we got the tea. We got our buddy Will. And all of Will's friends hanging out with us. So let's see what happens. Five days have passed since we entered the tunnel. The same scenery goes on and on. It's hard to keep track of time. Let's rest here today. I'm so tired. I must have walked 500 miles today. I don't think that's possible, Eric. This is crazy, having to walk so far. Enough. You've been tired ever since we started this trip. Lance is right. Kara and I think, of, uh, we, I think all of us feel the same way. Let's eat. I'm hungry. Alright, well... What's Eric doing over there? I wonder how far this tunnel goes. Thousands of years ago, people walked through this tunnel. Somehow, when I think of the distant past, I feel so insignificant. People are strange. I'm afraid the longer we travel in this tunnel, the easier it will be for, to forget why we are here. Maybe all ancient people were that way. I want a steak and a salad. My skin has gone dry from eating weird food. You can look for some fish. Nope. These mushrooms grow all over the tunnel. It's our only food. Yesterday, baked mushroom. The day before, boiled mushroom. The, before that, raw. Awfully tasteless. We can't ask too much. I'll do it to live. We have to eat. Oh no, Will found more mushrooms. It's better than starving. Well, let's eat. Delicious mushrooms. In this way, another day passed slowly. Eighth day in the tunnel. Unable to sleep, I started an underground. I stared at an underground river. That makes way more sense than starting a river. <laughs> Can't sleep? No, I'm looking for more mushrooms. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, you've changed during this journey. Somehow you've grown up. I don't understand it myself, but I can use some strange power, and my body has changed to the body of a warrior. I remember seeing Frieden uh, in our last couple streams with his flowing golden locks that we're only a bit jealous of. The change seems to have started when my father went to the Tower of Babel. I'm just starting to understand that power. Why did you join this dangerous expedition? At first it was just for fun, but now it's a secret. Teehee. We will walk all day again tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Two weeks since entering the tunnel. Still no end in sight. Last night when I was sleeping, I heard an odd sound from above. Kara is very concerned about that sound. I'm too tired to do anything. Did you guys hear that? Wait! I hear it again. What is that sound? Uh-oh. Maybe it's Riverson? Oh no, we've got to run. Run? Run where? What's happening? Quiet, everyone. This vibrating sound. It's Morse code. It's a signal ships use to talk to each other. The length of the sound indicates letters. Let's see if I can decode it. Wait. This is Seth. Seth? Shh, quiet. Neil continues. Uh, did, what? Just Lily narrating all of a sudden? <laughs> I was swallowed by Riverson. When I came to, the form of my body had changed to Riverson's. This Riverson is a creature who lives in the ocean. This is a lot of Morse code. I don't know if it's human or not. 
he said that evolution is being affected by the light of a comet. I wanted to continue the journey with you, but not in this body. You must figure out this riddle of the comet and the runes. Uh, I don't hear anything now. Seth, I'm scared. This guy must have studied Morse code. Seth, too, did a good thing. But Seth didn't have a human form. No, Eric, don't jump to conclusions. Only humans think that human shape is the best one. Well, cheer up. Let's go. Well, anyway. <laughs> oh, we're through that nonsense. Neil is so funny. We're here at last. We've walked through the tunnel for almost a month. Look, a sign. What? Angel tribe? Travelers? Please use this room? Angels living in a place like this? They say angels don't like meeting with people. First, we can rest in that room. Oh, I skipped some dialogue again, as usual. What? Will, come with me. What are you grinning about? I'll explore this place myself. Don't try to follow me. Why are you so grouchy? Maybe she's just tired. Let her be for now. Travelers, please use this room. Let's go check on Kara first, make sure she's doing okay over here. <clears throat> this is the Angel Village. If our bodies are exposed to the sun for long, we'll perish. Sounds very vampire-esque for these angels. I don't know when we started living here, but when I look at the ocean, my heart aches. We have no emotions. I've neither laughed nor cried since the day I was born. I just survive. Let's go check out this room. See what's going on in here? Anything? It's been said that we are the form into which humans evolve. Everybody with their golden flowing hair again. This is the Angel Village. If our bodies are exposed to... Okay, yeah, you said the same thing the other person did. That's nice. People here love to dance. The picture on that wall was painted by Ishtar, but the model in the painting was lost. I used to dance with the person in that picture. You all look identical. Well, actually, that one has gray eyes. Otherwise, they look identical. <laughs> Aha, it's the jeweler gem. Let's give you some red jewels. Hmm, this is a rare jewel. Let me hold it for you. You've collected over eight jewels. According to the list, your life power will be raised. Fantastic. Oh, and your strength is raised by one. All right. So we've got 12. So eight more, we get psycho power. 18 more, we get dark power. Probably not going to find enough for the secret dungeon at the end, but uh, that's all right. Music is the best medicine for the soul. The right song will cure any disease. I'll take your word for it, angel lady. Hot dog, we get to go see Gaia, save our game. Again, Gaia, a strange being, a few words when she wants to be. I'm a sculptor. I plan to make 1,000 statues in my lifetime. She appears to be sleeping. It's like the spirit's drawn out. She's also standing in the sun. I thought they weren't supposed to do that. Do you know the painter Ishtar? I mean, we know of him. Ishtar's studio is on the other side of the store, but in front, creatures with the hate in their hearts are waiting. If you must go, you can open the door. Oh my goodness, what are we doing? We're, we're just gonna go fight, I guess. Let's uh, just 
Don't mind me. Just get a little comfortable before we start dispatching of more enemies. It's nothing that Will can't handle. We've been through worse. Yeah, these enemies don't have anything on us compared to what we dealt with in, uh, in Moo just a little bit ago. Plus we have the Psycho Slide, look at that. 10 damage. These skeletons just take off running. I feel a little bad for them. That time I got got though. Alright. Your strength has increased. Another 19 enemies hanging out here for us. The skeleton's just running away from me. I kind of, again, feel a little bad. Let's get all the enemies on this floor before we monkey around with any of the doors. What is that thing? Jeez, whatever it is, it has a lot of health. <laughs> it's super goofy looking though. Missed a uh, little crystal up there. We're almost to six lives. appear to be anything in this room other than just a couple bad guys. And before we go through that door, let's go to this door. It's a good block. Another one of those funny looking dudes guarding this door. Six enemies in here. I feel like we're gonna have to back up though. Oh, they're it's dark in here. You can barely see the bats. If you haven't watched the previous streams, um, defeating all the enemies gets us like a stat increase, so we'll be focused on doing that. So see, we beat all the enemies in this room so we get some more strength, which is great. We love to see that. Oh, this is very mysterious. The wind blows through a crack in the wall. Hello. Who knows if this is the right way or not? <laughs> Hopefully it's like not. So we want to go back and kill those enemies back there. <laughs> I'll take the defense up though, for sure. You found a red jewel. So yeah, we, that's the psycho slide that we learned earlier. We can use that to get through the little cracks in the ground. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Lucky for us, we have the psycho slide. And only two enemies in this room, some easy HP. Maybe the strategy is to just keep sliding. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go back before we keep progressing any further. <laughs> just backtrack for a second. Be 
because back here, oops, on the other side of this room, sorry, it's super far back, there's still four enemies back here that we haven't dispatched yet. Let's make sure we find them. Actually, they might be down here. I think this is it. All right, even more health. And we're able to get those bats in one hit now. Okay, now we'll go back this way. <laughs> back through the wind tunnel. Yeah, the sliding is definitely faster. Well, it seems unfazed by the wind as long as we're sliding. Ooh. Yeah, the enemies in Mu were definitely more challenging than what we've come across here so far. Let's see if that changes. More defense. No more music. Maybe another hidden passage somewhere? Yeah, we suspected as much. <clears throat> Three doors to choose from. I guess we'll go in this one. I don't think we've been here this long. <laughs> Kara's picture. She is contained inside it. What? It's quite the assumption, Will. Oh, we found a red jewel in that pot. I wonder if you're here to get Kara. Go into this room. If you solve all the riddles, I'll give you back the girl. What? What is your deal, man? Ishtar's voice resounds. Learn well the condition of that room. When you've learned it, leave the room. Okay. <clears throat> Three pots. Two of them are brown. One is gray. One chair. Two flameless candle things on the wall. Two books. One jar. Show how it's different from the room before. Well, oh my gosh, look at this. We have a little mouse cursor. It's definitely this jar. That's right. Good. Now on to the next room. Learn well the condition of that room. Okay. Two pots, one bench, two ladies, the one on the right's blue. Uh Is anybody else paying attention? <laughs> okay, it was it was the pots. Same thing. Well, there was an herb in the chest. It's gotta be something else in the chest. How have the contents of the jewel box changed? The only thing we ever find in chests are herbs or red jewels, so kind of figured. 
Okay, one smiling statue. Uh, it's windy in this room, right? The wind blew your hair around. All right. All right, Ishtar, what are you doing with Kara? You found magic dust. What? I'm sorry, did he paint himself into the painting? I have been waiting for you. Sprinkle magic powder on the painting and give it a kiss. If you care about her deeply, something will happen. You'll see. I painted a self-portrait. Soon I will become the painting. You must take care of her. What? What's his deal? Oh, this isn't the room with Kara. Let's equip our um, <laughs> magic dust. If I don't spread the magic dust, oh, I got it. Okay, he tries using the magic powder. He powder. He spreads magic powder on Kara's picture. Kara, please return to your original form. We will gently kisses the picture of her. Well, sorry for being so selfish. Kara, you made me so mad. You are not the only person on this journey. Ah, uh, I don't know what I'm doing myself. When I was in the castle, I could have anything I wanted. But I was a completely different person before this trip. Naturally, it's a mistake to think you can control everything. No. When I'm far away, I feel close to it. When I'm close, I feel far away. I realize that now. It's all right if you don't understand. I will never complete. I will never forget what happened today. There's a bunch of weird stuff happening in this cave. What the heck are we doing, Kara? I was worried. Why are you always running around alone? Didn't you think about the rest of us? Will already yelled at me about that. My apologies to everyone. She understands now. We should forgive her. I think the floating city is about three days south of here. I think we should go there right away. Tell me when you're ready. So the transitions in this game are like super abrupt. <laughs> well, hold on. Before we go, we'll go visit the jeweler again, drop off our gems. It's a weird, mysterious angel village situation we got going on here. bit of a hike. Here we go. Alright, we have 15, only 5 to go. That's not the right way. We, <laughs> wait. <laughs> yeah, we can't leave. We can't leave our party behind. We have to go talk to Neil. What was I thinking? In the floating city, many houses are built on rafts. Kind of romantic. I like it. Lily will have her birthday while we're in the floating city. Kara looks a little strange. Has something happened to Kara? My intuition is usually good. I think I saw a red jewel in the Angel Village. What? Yeah, well, there were like three of them, man. Alright. I think it's very hot in the floating city. Everyone be careful not to get heat stroke. Alright. Oh, we'll head three days south of here. Uh. Southwest. <laughs> Gotta spin around this mode 7, really taking us places. 
Watermia. Wonder why it's called Watermia. That must be why. We went to the water city, Watermia. Watermia? Watermia? Watermia. Mamma Mia. A beautiful town with houses built on rafts. The townspeople have kindly put us up at the house of young Luke. How does Luke feel about that? This is Luke's house. He is a lovable young fisherman. I'm going out on a long fishing voyage. You can use my house while I'm gone. Okay. The house on this raft gives me an idea for a new invention. What, like a boat? Aha! I found something good! Go outside and look behind the house. I feel a little guilty, but... I heard that Lance saw someone he knew in town. I guess he went to look for him. Watermia is very pretty, but I heard a terrible rumor. They play games with human lives. Oh, I had more to say. Phrygia was the same way, but beautiful. Things always have another side to them. Ain't that the truth. Let's go see what's behind the house. Can't really get behind the house. What's Eric getting at back here? Oh. Read Carter's diary? What? I mean, we're here, right? X month, X day. After a long journey, we arrive in the floating city of Watermia. I was parched after the journey. Blisters on my feet, but I had wrapped them in my handkerchief. Before, I would have complained, but I didn't say anything. I think I've changed a little. I'm pleased that I can be so concerned with someone else. I've heard the saying from a villager. If you wish over a lotus leaf on a full moon night, your love will notice you. A good saying. Maybe I'll try it. Right, I feel a little bad about that one. Take care of my house. Make yourself at home while I'm gone. Don't touch my stuff. I heard that a huge centipede called a sandfanger lives in the Great Wall of China. If I had a nickel. <laughs> they say fluid from its body can cure anything. Chinese medicine has many strange things, but drinking an insect's bodily fluids? What you got going on back here? I'll tell you something. Wait on the right side behind the gambling house. A lotus leaf will come. Where's the gambling house? There's an old man in the town who's a little bit crazy. He was one. He was with the explorer Olman on his, ex his expedition to the Tower of Babel. The crazy old man has gray hair, but they say he's still young. Maybe something bad happened to him. That's my dad, Olman. This is Watermia. The houses are built on rafts. We like to move around. Soon the baby will be born. Our family goes about their jobs in high spirits. Cough, cough. I seem to have caught a little cold. You and me both, man. Speaking of... Appreciate everyone putting up with me here. We'll keep that tea going. Nice and warm. This animal is called a crook. It's good for crossing the desert. It can live without food or water for a long time. I'm gonna guess we need that to cross the desert to go visit the Great Wall of China, right? This must be the gambling house, right? We were told to wait here. Oh my god, it worked. <laughs> now what? Take me to wherever you want me to go, Lotus Leaf. Oh my god, how long have you been out here? On full moon nights, they play Russian Glass, the most dangerous game you can play. But you're still young, I wouldn't think you'd throw away your life. What the heck? What's the purpose of this? <laughs> We're stuck out here with this crazy guy. Come back, Lotus Leaf. We need you. Uh, don't mind me, just hanging out. Just really gaming over here again. Come on. Come on. 
Come on, Lotus Leaf. Let's go. Thank you. Well, let's go see what's going on in the gambling house. This is a gambling house. A child would have to be very poor to come into this place. Straight up, I don't have any money. You could still do it. Uh, betting small money won't make you big money. Of course, if you want to risk your life, you can make a fortune. If you need a lot of money, go to the raft at the outside of this building. I, what? Human life is not such a simple thing. You shouldn't waste your life on gambling. Oh, okay, here's the jeweler. <laughs> He's just hanging out watching people play Russian glass, which I'm sure isn't Russian roulette. As you can see, it's a drinking contest. They bet on who will win. Life is like a gamble. Make one mistake and you're on the road to ruin. People do that unconsciously. Okay. Well, I hope everyone's having a good time in there. We drink this water. Cook with it, wash with it. Water never stays in the same place. It's always moving and cleansing itself. We want to live like the water. Aha! It's roll buddy Gaia. What do you guys say this time? Nothing? <laughs> no. I like how everything phases out, except for Gaia's face when we leave. So, yeah, hey. What do you guys say for yourself? Can I come hang out with you? This leaf is full. Find another if you want to ride. See, some people. This is Watermia. The houses are built on rafts. Yeah, okay. I think I might have already talked to you. Uh, no, you guys just say the same thing. Okay. Where are we going? <laughs> No chocobo, but it'll do. Let's go in this house real quick. Oh, hey. Will, do you recognize this person? He's my father. I went on an expedition with Olman. It was scary, but fun. He seems to have lost his memory. I finally met my lost father, but... Huh. Will, wait, I'll go too. I'm preparing Lily's birthday present. I want to finish by dark. Let's go to our room. Interesting, our dads were hanging out. I was bitten by a snake when I went to the Great Wall of China. Once the snake around here bites you, they don't let go. How are you alive then? If you're bitten by a snake, you should run around like crazy and he'll let go. Okay. <laughs> we haven't heard from our father since his last letter six months ago. I hope he's okay. My father's an explorer. Soon he will find the golden ship and come home. Uh. Yikes. <laughs> we met that skeleton outside the golden ship. I don't know about that one. A crazy old man came here two years ago. He just talked about the Tower of Babel. That must be uh, Lance's dad. Okay, I think we've talked to everybody in this town. Uh, oh. Lily had something to say. What? Everyone remembered my birthday? Didn't you expect it? Everybody kept it secret to surprise you. Hey, Kara, bring that. Oh my god, a birthday cake! Neil made it, so you know it's gonna be good. Ha <laughs> my first cake. It was harder than building an airplane. Thank you, everyone. I'm the luckiest girl in the world. So began Lily's little birthday party. The end of the party. Ah, oh, Lily, can I talk to you for a minute? I'll wait outside. Huh? I wonder what? Somebody's got a thing for Lily. Uh, excuse me, everyone. I'll be right back.
what? You're not yourself. Just relax. You're right. I'm not myself right now. This is your birthday present. I hope you like it. Oh, Lance, a bouquet of roses. Where the heck did he get those? Rosebuds, they'll open up into roses. They smell wonderful. Thank you, they're beautiful. I have another present, something I want to tell you. What? Yes, uh, the words are harder to say than a tongue twister. <laughs> Lily, I love you. Yeah, you don't have to answer right away. But I wanted to tell you how I feel. Oh, sad. Lily, wait! We had no idea what had happened. That day, Lily didn't come back to her room. Oh, poor Lance. So, in the morning, when I awoke, Lance had disappeared. The house on this raft gives me an idea for a new invention. I already said that. What happened to Lance and Lily? I'm worried. <clears throat> well, now what? Do we go run after them? Probably not. I'm guessing we're not going to get to leave. No, we can go back to Angel Village. I don't want to go back to Angel, Angel Village, though. That place is creeping me out. Has anybody seen Lance? Just you guys still in here drinking? <clears throat> okay. Some non chocobos. Yep, this huge centipede, the sand fanger. You guys really don't have anything else to say. Oh, he's probably with his dad, duh. Right? Nope. His dad's still just hanging out in here. There's two twins talking about getting bit by the sandworm. He's not like on that raft, right? With that other guy? At least we caught it this time. I'm guessing he's probably not here and we're just... just wasting time again, right? No, it's just you, man. Okay. Just hang out here. Just really, am I supposed to like move? Okay, hopefully, I wasn't supposed to uh, touch the middle of that. We just like wasted a bunch of time there. Well, what the heck? You hanging out in some random person's house? Gaia? Gaia? Bueller? Can you tell me where Lance is? No. Okay. Fisherman know anything? Does anybody know anything about where Lance is? Hello? Okay, the sick guy. This kid's really struggling with that ladder though. Have any of you seen Lance? No, nope. you're missing dad that's unfortunately not coming home. Sorry to break that news to you. Okay. 
Yeah. We don't have the... A letter from Lance. How was I supposed to know to check my inventory? Glad we did. He opened Lance's letter. Lance, I'm going to the Great Wall of China. I intended to keep it a secret, but I told Will just in case. I'm putting this letter in his luggage, but he probably won't notice. The townspeople say there's some kind of cure for my father at the Great Wall. It's a long journey, but I'd go anywhere if it would help him. Don't worry about me. P.S. By the way, Lily has left me. Well, shit. I mean, shoot. Dude's crazy. We gotta go tell the others. Also, Lily was never really with him, right? Okay, Neil, you don't have a whole lot to say right now. Eric, kind of being a perv. Look at this letter. Okay. Am I going to go out on my own all by myself? I can't cross the desert by myself, right? I need one of these chocobos. Uh, JK, totally can, apparently. I was wrong. Just all walk all the way to the Great Wall of China.